everything started with Blender because I found a really cool 3D model in Sketchfab.com and I had to trick a little bit things because I have to smooth it was a little bit low poly so I have to make it high poly to have more details on it and for the background I just started mixing some cloud images that match my lighting that I made in Blender as it goes on, you will see that I paint a lot because I am refining the mask to mix things in a different way. And I use some brushes of clouds from smoke to blend things better and have more texture on it and give more depth to the composition. I use some fire textures for the balloon that I got from Photobash so they can have a more realistic feel. So I got an issue with the textures in the balloons that you can see they look really bad and actually I used only a smudge tool and a brush and start just painting around also I use a lot of smudge tool to create a, some kind of blush and blur for the balloons and the car and I really like how it look now I added more texture with some brushes and to mix better the, the background, the foreground. I painted this little rope from the balloon because I wanted to bring more dynamic elements to the frame. Here I painted some surface scattering in the balloons. I used inner glow to create a backlight coming from the portal. The portal and other light effects were created with a new plugin that I'm working on, so I hope to release it soon. Normally, I like to use Curves Adjustment Layer to bring down the exposure and then mask it out the areas that I want the attention of. I painted some light on the balloons coming from the sun to create more volume on them and to use those highlights after to create the beautiful sunset glow with an egg. I wanted to put more details on the balloons so I created these patches. I wanted to separate the colors from the composition to have cool tones on the left and warm tones on the right. So with the help of curves, I gave more blue IMB lighting to the scene. I wanted to bring more life to the scene, so I found these images of birds and isolated them using the quick mask and refined the edge with select and mask. Again, I used the smudge tool to create motion blur and this time for the bird's wings. I also painted a little backlight on the birds to blend them better with my lighting. In this part, I wanted to unify more the colors, so I used the selective color adjustment layer and took a little bit the cool and the warm tones. So I realized that the car needed a pilot or a driver, and I found a really cool picture of a profile, silhouette, and then I remembered that I have a picture of myself in black and white that I could use to put on the top of silhouette that had a really cool lighting that matched my scene. I'm used to wear a cap every day, almost every day, and I wanted to paint one on myself. This time I wanted to include an easter egg, so I used the Oniric logo for it. I wanted to paint some kind of graffiti, but then I realized that this could be used to create some kind of rust on the car. I painted a stronger backlight coming from the portal using a soft brush and a pure white color. I used this after as well to create some beautiful glows with Oniric. Now this is the part where I start playing around with Oniric and what I really like about Oniric is that I can isolate light from the image and create different kind of glows so I start to create these beautiful sunset glows on the balloons and also on the fire I just a little bit of Oniric on the portal as well This time I used a strong backlight that I painted with a white color and used that layer as a mask to generate some glows inside on Eric. Here I was just playing around with different textures to give more speed to the car coming out from the portal. So here's a complete breakdown of the layers used in this composite.
Thank you very much for watching the video and if you like it, please subscribe and share it with your friends so more people can reach the video. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.